against a well-rounded This is a big-time fight feel. People have been pining for this matchup for a really long time. They wanted to see how the striker would handle someone that would try to force them into uncomfortable situations. Let's see how this thing plays out. Left hand punch from the clinch. And there comes the separation now. Nice body. So both girls landing right out of the shoot. Swing and a miss. Nice. Oh, she's really using her reach advantage to great effect here tonight. Lands the punch. Akhmedov going for the head kick. No dice. Hands up, hands up. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed with that one. Nice leg kick there by Sean Wadley. Miss with that jab. That one snuck in. Nice and tight. And there's a takedown attempt. There's no kill. Oh, that's it. Oh, outstanding knee to the body by the taller fighter. Wayley gets hit with a kick. She lands another knee there. Just a masterful approach in this fight. And a nice job using her size and length to her advantage. Just over three minutes to go. Spinning back fist. Sean gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Oh, big punch land. Nice stick with the right hand. Whaley gets in the clinch yet again. Just missed with the left there. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. Right hand, yup. What a punch. Absolutely melted by that head kick. Nice stick with the right hand. She lands a kick there. She might be the best kicker in this division. She may just be the best kicker in this entire division. She does a great job of using that as a way to dominate a fight. Back and forth we go. Oh, she's got the right hand going tonight, DC. She's in a great flow, and she's going from her dominant side to land that great strike. It's such a fast leg kick. Just misses there with the left. Oh, nice elbow. Straight punch lands. Oh, clinch position. Watch the knees and the elbows come now. Oh, wow. Huge head kick. Vicious combo there. Total strikes have landed for Weili Zhang. Well, we told you off the top, she's got the longer reach and certainly made good use of it in landing that straight punch there. She blocked the punch. Under a minute to go in our opening round. Great punch. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. Huge strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. Oh, Superman punch. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Seconds to go. 
Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed with that one. Oh, nice job by her to land the left punch there. Left punch lands over and over again. John, it sounds like we're a broken record. Five oh, minutes gosh. in the books. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, DC, here we go with our next round, and Ready she fight? usually attacks Ready. the body well, and the lower half of the head strikes were certainly the storyline there in our previous round. She likes to mix it up, but when she's having this type of success right. going to the head, she will take it over and over again, and at a point, she's going to sit on something so heavy that she's going to hope to close the show. Zhang's strike attempt there is blocked. Benoff's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Well, there's no denying her power. She has been pretty accurate here tonight, but she's the type of fighter when she goes to the drive through window. She's just getting the sandwich. She's oh, not getting the combo meal. That's embarrassing. <laughs> that's embarrassing. You're going to go and order a sandwich. That and potentially a critical takedown here. Oh, and with conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. Oh, keep it busy here off of her back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here. Just beautiful when it comes to the transition. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Akmedo. Well, she did not miss a single grappling practice during this training camp, and here's your evidence. Outstanding movement on the ground. She looks like a master of grappling with the great movement that she's showing on the ground. Oh, her ground and pound is on point here. She's made this a focus going in to make these strikes count. Certainly doing that tonight. She's making each and every one of them count, doing a very, very good job of landing shots, landing them in combination, and making them all matter. Jong's trying to lock up on a submission now. Oh, wow, oh! Nicely done. Oh, she gives up her back here, so a case of pick your poison and now she's gonna have to work hard defensively to prevent the fish. Well, she's gotta protect her neck. That's the first thing. She's gotta really be aware of where her opponent's arms are. If her opponents get anywhere near her neck, she needs to really defend. Attack the top hand. The top hand is the choke hand. Make sure that top hand is always yours. When you grab it, keep it. It belongs to you now. To start to work, try to get to your base and get back to your feet. Lands with the ground and pound. Oh, she gives up her back here, DC, so she's got a lot of work to do now. What do you do, tuck the chin, hand fight? You've got to tuck the chin. You've got to bring both hands to the hands, because as your chin is going down, your opponent's going to be attacking your neck. Two hands on one, force it down, build your base, try to get back to your feet, and if worse comes to worse, give up the mount. Right. Because the mount is better than having this fighter on your back. Nothing fun about it. We'll see if she can escape here. Oh, beautiful jab. She has certainly found the range with that weapon, and I guess when you have a reach advantage like this, might as well use it. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Waitley gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land. She did not miss there. This could be the end, DC. I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she's standing. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, big left hand there. Push kick there to the body. 
Oh, she nailed the double leg takedown there. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial Shong's looking for that arm triangle now. in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Akhmedov. 20 seconds to go round two. Nice stick with the right hand. 10 seconds. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Akhmedov. Right now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides here. Really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. Ready, fight. Ready. Third yeah. round underway. Nice. Real sneaky body kick. Educated jab right there from Zhang Wei Li. This is a competitive division, but certainly looks like a fighter who could reign for some time. I mean, China's first UFC champion. And Wei Li is the person that you want to see carrying the flag for her country. She has everything. She's even learned to speak English. Now she understands the importance of drawing people in and capturing the imagination of the fight fans around the world. She's so fast, so straight, everything just perfect. Everything. Oh. Oh. That's a good combination. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, nice job by her to posture up there. Now we'll see if she can maintain that separation. She has to recognize that her opponent will start trying to squirrel away now, but look for her big ground and pound. Nice stick with the right hand. All right, so the ground and pound strikes continue to land. She's not staying busy for the sake of it. She is doling out damage. She's landing a lot of punishing ground and pound, and this is gonna really zap her opponent as they get back to the field. Medov's back in full guard now. Pretty significant welt to the left side. Shong's back in half guard. Well, you gotta try to stay busy off of your back. She's doing it here. Nice punch. All right, full guard now, DC. She's on the bottom. What is she trying to do? Well, she's got to throw up submissions to try to put her opponent on awareness. And these submissions will be used to reverse the position. Even if it gets defended, it will create space for her to try to get back to her feet or maybe to steal a sweep and trick her opponent. Zhang's back inside control here. Looking for that arm triangle. Last triangle, last triangle. Oh man, that was slick. Man, she is just nonstop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another nice transition by her there. She's moving a lot, but every movement has purpose. Akhmedov's pass attempt denied. All right, half guard position for her here, and this is a spot where we've seen her have a lot of wild success in previous fights. She has a tremendous amount of success in this position because she's so knowledgeable. She keeps the right side underhook, and she just goes to work with that left arm. She's posting an elbow. She's building her posture and punching. There are just so many different ways for her to score strikes from this position. Oh, maybe the best shot she's thrown tonight. Her opponent's her. Beautiful placement on that hook. What a great job of finding such a massive shot.
Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It, it's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been a lifetime developing this skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Moore just transitioning so beautifully. Yeah, she's so good at transitions and movement. Her ability is unmatched. Hey, scramble, get up. Scramble, scramble, get up. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Ahmedov's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. All right, so her ground control is outstanding. Half guard is when she's at her most dangerous. Yeah, she's at her most dangerous when she has a half guard because she's so brutal with the grounded pound. She likes to go after fighters and really wear on them, force them to make decisions to give their backs so that she can chase her submissions or they're gonna lay on their back and just get beaten up from the top from that beautiful half guard position. She's got as good an arsenal of chokes as anyone in the game. We'll see if she can set one up here. Oh, saved by the bell. Round over. And the finish came just in time. Thought maybe she might tap there, but you know how tough she is. So the submission attempt right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. Back to the stools they go. We'll see if she can recover in time for this next round. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like punching technique, that round was about as good as it gets. Yeah, it looks like a boxing fight. She does a great job of using her hands to set everything up. But she's so fast and she's so sharp with those punches. It allowed her to really control that round. All right, next round is underway. And how about the celebratory tone in that corner after all of the good work upstairs there in the previous round? They're patting her on the back. They're high-fiving. They're smiling in the corner because when you watch your fighter fight a near-perfect first round right. and do it with just throwing head strikes, you are happy. Their fighter has fought tremendously, and it's going to be on her opponent to either change it or get finished. Combination lands for her there. She would seem to be in the zone. Is that something you hey, feel as a fighter? I like that. Yes, yeah, she's in the zone. She everything that she throws seems to be finding its target. Great punch landing with so much power. That was a thudding leg kick. Oh, Superman punch! And she's got the double leg takedown. Conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. Oh, nice job by her there. You see how strong she is. Her opponent's trying to control posture, unable to do so. Now she can get to work and put the money in the bank with that ground pump. Money in the bank. Game of inches right there, oh, yeah. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Nice kick. Right on the button. Powerful leg kick lands. Nice punch there by Ahmed. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, she misses with an uppercut. Nice stick with the right hand. Well committed to the body work. You see the results. Look at the redness on the right side of her body. Well, how urgent is this fighter down the stretch? She is really lighting her up now. She found her range in the middle of this fight, and she is making up for lost time. Big punch to the body. Now she's got the Muay Thai plum. Nice stick with the right hand. Huge job. Huge work. Serve him up. Go get him.
trying to kick the leg out. Whoa! She is such a diverse striker that that fixed strike landed, and it looks like she's going to finish this fight. Well, she's got a good jab. Miss with it there. Oh! And they separate. She's going back to that patented straight right hand, unable to connect. Good stick. Whoa! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to change the finish. Oh, sage work from the bottom here as she tags her with the punch. Sean's looking for an arm bar here. Posture's up here, DC. We'll see if she can get those ground strikes. Going. Watch for the huge elbows that she's known for. Half guard position for her here. And if you're the bottom fighter, this is truly a case of, of pick your poison. Yeah, you got to pick your poison. And if you're on the bottom, you got to be trying to find a way to escape that bottom leg. You cannot allow your opponent, you cannot allow her to sit on your leg and just throw big damage and strikes. You got to make sure you're on an elbow control and underhook and getting back to your feet. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed with that one. Man, she's got a pretty good left hand, went to it there. She's a right-handed fighter, but the left side has become just as good as the right side. Big punch land. Ooh. There's the horn, the round is over, and we've got more fighting. It looked like maybe we'd get a finish there after she landed upstairs. Well, she was excited. She thought it was done. How does she reshift? How does she get herself back in the moment to try to repeat what she just did, but also top it and actually get the finish? You ready to fight? Ready. So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. Nice straight punch. Oh, Superman punch. All right, so she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round. As efficient as any striker in the division, this is a world-class display of striking here tonight. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Just unable to... What you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? Oh, oh, yeah. oh no! Outstanding kick there by Ahmed. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. All right, so now she engages in the tie clinch, and of course, if you're fighting hands as the opponent, you leave everything else wide open. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big left. Well, that left hand has been there for her tonight, not on that attempt. Nice punch lands over the top. Good right here. Medov going for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. Back in the clinch now. Man, she's got the counter game going tonight as she lands the punch there. It can be easier to be a great action to get to that takedown. Oh, and with conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here. Just beautiful when it comes to the transition game. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. Back to her feet now. Good sign for her there. Under three minutes now to go round five. Liver kick. Oh, 
little shot to the body connects there. Beautifully placed right underneath the elbow. She didn't really throw a lot of body shots overall in the fight, but in the latter stages, smart to work the body. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Man, look at the redness appearing on the left side of her body there. That's starting to really add up. Oh! She is such a reverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's going to finish this fight. Oh, my goodness! Just a beautiful shot by her there to end the fight. I'm not sure she could have drawn it up any better than it played out here tonight. She lands the seminal blow there midway through the round. I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming. So, big, big knockout win for her here tonight. We now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer to wrap it with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at two minutes, 53 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Wayley Well, there she is, and you can be sure there's going to be a long line at the after party tonight after what she was able to accomplish. Tonight. I mean